the majority of dog warts are benign and do not necessarily require removal. Unnecessary removal could actually put undue stress on your dog, and could even trigger another outbreak of warts in the near future. If you do decide to remove your dog's warts, however, there are a few holistic remedies you can try on your own before going to the veterinarian and paying for professional procedures. Assess whether a growth is a wart. Dog warts, or sebaceous gland cysts, are actually a type of benign skin mass that appears in dogs as they age, similar to the way that moles appear in humans. Other growths can also occur on a dog's body. Some examples include skin tags, mast cell tumors, ischiacetomas, hair follicle tumors, collagenous nevi and fibromas. If you are ever in doubt as to whether the growth you are seeing on your dog is a simple wart or some other disease consult your veterinarian. She or he can draw some of the cells out of the growth and examine it under the microscope to give you an accurate diagnosis. Examine the appearance of the wart. True warts are caused by the papilloma virus and are usually found in puppies or older dogs with an imbalance in their immune system. These warts look like cauliflower stalks and typically appear along the nose, lips or gums. The warts usually disappear after a few months as the immune system develops, but they can be contagious and make it difficult for your dog to swallow or breathe. Common, benign warts are flesh-colored and small. They tend to look like tiny mushrooms. If a benign wart grows or looks inflamed, you may need to remove it. You cannot always tell by looking at it if it is a cancerous tumor or not. Many times cancerous warts are black, quick-growing, and inflamed. They generally form around the eyelids or lips and should be removed as soon as possible. Consider whether or not the wart poses a problem. You can remove a wart merely for cosmetic purposes, but it is generally not recommended to perform surgery for that reason alone. If, however, a benign wart keeps getting snagged, causes your dog to itch and scratch, or otherwise makes your dog uncomfortable, you may opt to have it removed. Your veterinarian can also give you guidance as to whether the wart needs removal. Warts that the dog can irritate by scratching or rubbing or that rubs against a collar are best removed to avoid repeated infections and inflammation. At times itching can also signal that the wart is cancerous and should be removed. Please subscribe to our channel and give this video thumbs up. Share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.